What's your favorite SD map to watch? I think Karachi. I think this map is my favorite one to watch. I think you just do a lot more on this map than others. All right, let's get into it. Seattle versus Carolina. Karachi search. We're going to try and hit nades towards B Street. Nothing is going to hit. So what they're having is they're going to have two guys hit towards middle area over here. They're going to have Clay watching over Gwyn, who's going to push up towards, you know, P1 area, probably. Okay, so he's actually going to go for top AC instead of hitting the mid cut. Clay's actually getting super aggressive here. So instead of playing towards, you know, the heady over here, he gets pushed up a little bit more and towards his off angle, trying to watch his short. But, you know, he's going to try and back up. And honestly, he probably should have died here. I don't know how he does not die with two guys seeing this. Number two shooting at him. Number four might not have the angle at the point. To, to see him but he's 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 kind of backed off and somehow he escapes with his life and that provides a timing because they're kind of fully giving up b-side seattle is and Gwyn can just hop into the into fountain over here so Gwyn's going to be huge in this round we'll see what he can do alone pushed up here they're not going to be expecting someone into into fountain here chilling with my newly pregnant uh pregnant uh, girlfriend watching the stream can't wait for the cdl to start again though hey congratulations bro So they're they're kind of slow playing this kind of I would assume waiting for Gwyn to make some sort of play See if you can find an opening for them, but they actually go just for the smoke Plant and they're not watching top AC unfortunately. So Kyler makes a play mid so this is this is interesting because They gave up mid because obviously Gwyn pushed into the fountain area and clay back got backed off from those players towards mid side So I'm surprised that they don't know that someone could be towards this mid area i guess fellow takes a glance at it but you know kyler's in p1 you know he's not gonna be able to see kyler so kyler just goes right up top of his ac it's a gap in their setup he gets one on clay tj actually gets off bomb and now you're you're you need gwen to make a play now so he gets a kill on on kyler they're probably like how the hell is this guy fountain by the way and what happens here Oh, so so Tej tries to go and cross back, and he just gets killed from from Ender over here, who was bottom cash. So three v two for Seattle. Even though they gave up the B site and basically just played mid, they're still able to kind of you know make this mixy because of that mid control they got. Gwyn, let's see if he sees Ender. Oh, nice kill. I told you, Gwyn's making plays this round because of the position he has. Let's even get another. Ooh, close. He's one shot though. Unfortunate. On that on that end, you know, Fellow is making play through a side. They're probably not gonna. He's probably not gonna expect Fellow to be here. So yeah, one one on one now. 20, 20 seconds. So he has to he has to get the bomb and plant it. He doesn't know that it boozes all the way on the other side of the map. He basically has to play for the kill. He has absolutely no idea where this guy could be. He probably thinks he's flanking, yeah. So he didn't push through, and that's what Fellow was thinking. You just gotta, if that's a gamble at that point, it's a 50 50. All right, let's see. Offense Seattle here. They're trophying, making sure they're not getting hit by any like initial nades. Kyler's going to go up through mid cut here with bomb. So, kind of the same thing that you saw before, but instead of going up top AC, uh, Kyler's going to go towards his mid cut, trying to make a play here. This is kind of dangerous, though, with bomb. So, uh, so I don't know what they're going to do here. Ender, Ender gets a really nice kill on, who is it? On Gwyn. So Ender goes on top of this scaffolding over here and can see top AC. So Gwyn gets picked apart pretty easily. TJ tries to, TJ actually tries to make a play here too. But this is a nice setup by, by Seattle for covering this. So this is a gamble on Seattle's part. Like if, if people hit towards this mid cut and Kyler dies, that's really, really bad. But if they're playing slow like this, where they're trying to play, you know, one top AC, one top bridge, and this guy top bridge tries to, you know, get a trade on Ender here, you know, that opens, that opens him up. And then number, what was it? Abuza gets a kill on lurking over here towards the A site. 
on Clay. So 3v1 here. This should be bombed down and... Why are we not going to bomb? We should be planning bomb ASAP now, I feel. I mean, I guess they're trying to go for the kill, but this is... I don't know. I'm, in my opinion, 3v1, you're, you're planning bomb instantly. You're, you're... Like, they didn't know where the last guy was, right? Oh no, they, they just see him in top castle. But once they see him in top castle, I feel like he just goes to bomb. Alright, see uh, Carolina trying to hit the nades again. Kind of similar. Two guys mid. Quinn's going to push up with Clay watching over him. Instead of going top AC, he's going to hit the mid cut this time. He doesn't see Kyler. And that's, that's a good play out of Kyler. Just hiding behind these barrels here. A little creddy. And gets a free first blood for it. Then Clay's going to try and get this trade. They actually get it from Fellow. So Fellow watches over him. And once again, you know, Seattle's banking on, like, no one B-side. So if Kyler dies here, the B-side is completely open. I don't know if Carolina knows this, but we'll see. So yeah, they don't see anyone instantly. So they're probably just going to go instantly plant bomb. Actually, they're not going to bomb yet just because they could technically still be in Fountain, I guess. Clay's going to push up their bottom cash. Fellow's going to stay top third over here. He sees one guy towards mid. Gets a kill on Alex, so that's huge. They're still not planning bomb because they're, I feel like they're just trying to wait. Yeah. Okay, so now they're going to go work bomb, but Clay is going to get pushed up in a position here where he can kind of make some plays. Yeah, so Booz is not expecting this, I don't think. This is a good, uh, good credit by Clay. And he does die on bomb, so I, I guess that's why they weren't going instantly towards bomb because he could still die on it. So Ender does get the kill, but the bomb does go down. 2v1 though, bomb down, and Clay's kind of making a play back castle, but this is such unfortunate timing. Ender wraps this, actually sees him as he's climbing up, and gets a kill. Now we 1v1 with, with Fellow. Tyler knows where, he's is, where he is, Ender now knows because he shot. See if he can get a up top AC over here, this is a crazy play. Wow. Crazy 1v1. Fellow pulls out the pistol just in time and, and gets that kill. That was a good play by Fellow. It was a good play by Ender too. Like he was not expecting him to be, you know, making that play going to towards top AC. But, but Fellow wins the 1v1. The crowd was going nuts in this one. All right, what are we what are we doing here, Seattle? They're actually going three towards mid this time. And look at here, Carolina, they're triple, tripling B-side. Two guys are going to hit this mid-cut. So this is going to be a battle towards mid over here. Kyler's actually going to go top AC. And number three is kind of watching his mid-cut form so that he can get up here safe. Number three is in gunfights. I'm surprised Kyler doesn't look down to try and, try and get a kill on one of these guys. They know they're mid-cut, right? So Booza dies here, but I'm surprised that... Uh, I'm surprised Kyler doesn't, you know, jump or look down to try and get a, a kill here. A crowd. They are really into so that's a, that's a, I mean, that's a big first blood. But Kyler still does get information, or can get information from this positioning. He gets a kill on Fellow here, so that's, you know, even though he didn't get that trade though, uh, he's still able to make a play. So in, in his mind, what he's saying is he probably doesn't want to make sure that he gets seen by trying to get one of these trades. I mean, obviously I think you could, you can benefit your teammate by getting the trade, but by getting this positioning here, they're not expecting this. And I'm, su oh, I'm surprised Fellow doesn't see him back here. It looks like Fellow's looking in his direction, but I guess not. I guess you can't see him. But a good play by Kyler. Like, I think it's a 50-50. I think he should have tried to like look down to help out. But in his positioning, he's trying to make a play so that he can make a play later in the round. And now it's just, uh... Wait, how does... How does this happen? Oh, Ender just jumps over towards the bridge and no one sees him during the time. He goes from the scaff to the bridge and no one's watching the cross, like, towards bomb. And he basically goes over number six's head. 
And then he's just sitting, he's just standing next to number six. That's actually really funny. Look at this, they're just like standing next to each other. He's he's right next to him on the stairs. Number number six, Quinn dies for that. Now it's a 1v3. I'm loving these VOB streams. Appreciate that, man. They know maybe 1v3, T just has to, has to, make, to make a play on someone. Like, it's, it's a very hard situation. He sees bombs down now. Gonna try and get a kill, but he's just gonna get snipped out. Alright, Seattle, they're opting to, once again, kind of send a little bit more people towards this A site than usual. They're gonna have still two guys on the site, though, but they're not gonna have any make control until Kyler gets up towards the top AC. But he actually isn't gonna go to top AC. He's gonna stay towards the scaff area. Number two is watching their mid-cut from this position over here, like underneath those sandbags. Kyler gets a timing. What the hell? So they actually have, on the Carolina side, once again, they sent two guys towards top third, one guy Coop, uh, again, Clay watching towards his mid-cut, making sure that no one's getting pushed up Seattle on the Seattle end towards mid-cut, or like towards the mid-side. And Kyler just gets a timing where he gets he gets through towards Coop over here, even though there's so many people over here. Clay is probably mind-blown that he's over here right now. Oh! That's a, that should be a free kill. I am surprised. Oh, okay. I mean, Kyler... Kyler should be getting this kill, unfortunately. And Clay just, Clay just plays around this pillar really well. Waits for his team to help him out. That's crazy. That's a, that's a, that's a free for his blood for, for Carolina, which shouldn't have been for them, honestly. So Clay's going to try and take some space mid here. Actually, they have two people on the Seattle side pushing towards useless, like going on a full flank here from A side. So if number two can try and get a kill here, and he does, you know, Alec makes a really good play, but he doesn't get out with his life, unfortunately. If he got out of his life, there was a chance that the Seattle can win this round, I think. But now they're getting pushed up on their side. They could probably expect that Seattle's somewhere in their base or mid. And I'm surprised, yeah, I'm surprised TJ doesn't go towards uh, the bridge here. He kind of tries to retake this side, but they never, they never had their pinch from the people A side. Inside of the staircase, so bomb is planted though. Advantage over to Carolina. 2v2 now. They actually get a pick on Clay too. So Booza, Booza and Inder are actually playing this well. Twenty-five seconds left on bomb. 1v2. They don't know where Gwen is. He's playing a ratty corner under Coop here. Let's see if Inder gets this kill. Oh, Ender, really nice job. So Gwyn gets the kill on Bomb, so that gives Ender his positioning. And I think Ender, like, sees him right away as soon as he gets the kill. Yeah. And now this is a really awkward gunfight for Gwyn. He's just right on top of you. So honestly, you know, Seattle did a good job here, but... I don't know, I'm, I'm surprised, like, they never had, they never had their, their back, so I'm surprised TJ had one try to go back towards Coop, and no one get a trade. Like, he's just trying to get a safe positioning, but they should know that, like, no one has picked up their pinch in this, in this area. Like, the last time someone was watching the pinch was Gwyn, and that was before, like, Alec even got the kill. But yeah, good, good, uh, what was it, 2v3? Yeah. Yeah, 2v3. Alright, let's move on. Um, not sure if someone already asked this, but who in Optic comes up with S&D strats? Is it more of a team effort? Yeah, it's more of a team effort. Um, I'm sure you already discussed this, but what are your thoughts on Sandy getting dropped instead of Burge for Geo? Uh, again, like I said before, not my camp. I don't know what's going on in their camp, so... It's nothing I should be like commenting about. We're just gonna focus on ourselves. If another team wants to make a change, make a change. Like, doesn't matter for me. Yeah, it, it caught me off guard. If I'll say that. But other than that, you know, a lot of things can catch people off guard if they don't know what's going on in the camp. So obviously there must have been some, something going on. So I, I have no idea. 
with this streak. And the ace. 4 1 advantage. And a few uh, first bloods you've had for Royal Ravens, you've had two now. You've All right. Seattle finally going for a hit. First time there's an a hit in this, in this match. And that's the one round that Carolina is not playing anyone towards a side. They actually have number six going to be watching this cross. And they actually. I mean, every single time. They're actually not playing A from A, but they're playing it double double towards the plat. So they have two guys on this plat, and they have a guy in Fountain. They get the guy short. This guy on the A side, who's like playing under these pillars, gets a free first, or not free first blood, but a free, uh, free positioning. I don't think he gets the kill. Yeah, Alec is the one who gets killed top fryer. So since he's top fire, he can see people at the top plat. Like he can like see their legs and stuff. And actually, he the guy jumps in, so it's not even that he was still top plat. Number eight, Clay still has to worry about A in case you know someone had gone through like ticket or something and pushed up towards you know diner or towards bomb there. But bomb is actually middle, and Abuza picks it up. And they're gonna try an option again towards this A, but a really good position out of Clay. This is what he was kind of just playing that fail safe over towards this A side by moving over here, making sure that they can't go back towards A because you know obviously he's the only one on his team that could pick up A. 5 a.m. leak coming out. Yeah, that was the most surprising me thing to me. I woke up at like, what was it, 7:30 or something, and that shit was leaked apparently two hours before I even woke up. What happens here on this B side? So Indo gets a kill top AC, but he just gets traded by TJ. So 2v1 now. They don't know where Alec is. Actually, they knew he was top fire last alive because he got that, that kill or that trade right at the beginning of the round. So I think Caroline is going to just try and work together here, try and get towards each other at least, and just play retake if, if, if he plants towards A. Where TJ and Clay are playing. No, I said most surprising thing, not meat. What? Just go over that way together. Just don't want to most surprising thing to me, maybe? Once he gets it planted. So he plants ours A side. Carolina is just going to work this together. Let's see what they do to retake together. Actually, they're not even. They're not even kind of playing with each other. They're, they're kind of just covering whatever they need to cover based on where they're coming from. So they're both looking. TJ's just going to smoke bomb and hop it. He's just going to trust that Clay has over him. Clay's top plat though, and that's, I mean, he does, he does not check the bomb though, so. He just can't see it from his positioning, so. You know, Clay dies, but he's just the bait. TJ just hopped it right away, which is, which is good. You know, Alec, just honestly a, a really hard situation for Alec, because he has to both kill the guy on bomb and kill the other guy. And he just doesn't have a he doesn't have, doesn't have an angle on bomb. Like if he kills Clay and he has an angle right here, he can shoot him, but he can't even see. So yeah, the distraction. But I don't know. It was a weird. It was a weird play, but he was, I guess, the distraction for dying. But it was a good play by by T. Hoppit. Just trust his teammate. Just his teammate to be the bait, I guess, not even to get the kill. All right, 2-2 here from Seattle. Once again, not not covering something. For, so they're not spreading on the map. They're like two, like two personing A side like they did before where they just pushed through useless. And now they're two, two personing the, the B side rather than taking like mid control. So Clay's playing an island over here, trying to play kind of lurker towards A side, see if we can get a first blood over here. Carolina's going to actually opt to, to rotate towards him. So instead of committing to B, which they've been doing this entire game, they're actually rotating. So let's see if they if they clear ticket. He's just he's just prone behind this wall ticket, as you can see here in the next ray. So Ender gets a kill. Where does he get the kill? Ender gets a kill in diner on the guy low pillars. Let's see if TJ can get this trade. Actually, TJ can't get the trade, so Ender gets a nice two-piece on bomb. That's, that should solidify the round here, honestly. So Ender's playing towards this bus stop, or behind the bus stop. Really, really good play out of, out of him to get that two-piece. 
12 and 3 putting the team on the back. So because they try to rotate and like hit towards, you know, this light slash pillars area, um, you know, they're, they're trying to look for people on the site, but Ender's just playing a good spot and he gets a two-piece for it. So 4v2, probably not going their way without with bomb down too, so it plays out of Ender there. See look at the final round here, Royal Ravens. Can you finally get something going? See look at the final round here, Royal Ravens. Can you finally get something going? This is a, okay. See look at the final round here. So we have triple towards Coop. Number two, Alec, I guess, is nading. Nading mid cut or something. Or nader sunning mid cut. Ender gets a really good timing here. So this is obviously a drawn up like chow here. So he jumps over the wall, you can catch people like trying to throw nades if they just throw a trophy. So I'm assuming Fellow is the one who threw the trophy them uh, there for them as they're pushing up this B-side, and he gets a free kill for it. So really good play by Ender. He does get traded out by, by TJ, though. So really fast play by TJ to get this trade. So nice job by TJ. And now it's a 3v3. Seattle's now grouped up towards mid, and they're waiting for people to make plays mid. So they're just they're literally just pre-aiming Gwyn as he, as he rounds around the corner. And they're actually just continuing to hold on to this. They're expecting them to make plays, but dude, as soon as Alec gives it up, TJ hits it. Look at this. He's on it the whole time. Gives it up. TJ gets a kill. 2v2 now. They smoke it out to make it mixy, and he pushes through the smoke, actually. And Kyler makes the play. This is, I think, where people were saying that he was snaking. Oh, uh, this is... This is in-betweener, bro. This is like... This is pop-up. I guess you... I mean... I don't know. Hard to say. He loses the gunfight anyway. Clay in a 1v1. With bomb down in their spawn, so... Let's see what he tries to do here. Yeah, that, it was like... It's like borderline, dude. I, I don't know. And Clay actually sees him. Clay gets this scaffolding spot. Booza crosses underneath him. Clay actually jumps down. A Booza with a stun, really nice stun. It was like a, almost like a CS stun or some shit, like a CS flash. And a good one v one. That's a Seattle win. Another good search. I like the, I like the dynamics of what people are doing. But again, some, some lapses, but some good plays being made.